is $100,000 salary the new middle class? I was looking at the numbers of our bills, and even when we pay off our mortgage, our basic necessities is going to be $3,500 a month. Let's break this down. So even if our house is paid off, we still have $1,000 a month for our house payment because we have property taxes, homeowners insurance, HOA, electric, water, ADT, internet. So it's $1,000. Our health insurance and car insurance is about $800 a month. Our groceries are $1,200 a month for me and my wife. This is We spend about $100 every three days. And that it does include paper towel, trash bags, et cetera. But everything at Publix, $1,200 a month. We've got gas for $150. We have a cell phone for $150. We have a senior dog, Benji, that we take good care of. He's $200 a month. And we also have $100 for services like Netflix, Hulu, Dropbox, Zoom, things like that. So it's $3,500 a month. This is with no car payment, no debt, no student loans, no house payment. It's still $42,000 a year after taxes just to have this. And that doesn't include savings, investing, traveling, gifts, hobbies, date night, anything like that. So we would need, even with our house paid off, in my opinion, about $100,000 to feel like the new middle class or upper middle class. So this just shows you how much the cost of living is skyrocketing.